Uh, today I am writing to uh, Judge Sotomayor to get her, give her advance notice that I will be inquiring to her views on, uh, on television. Uh, I have long advocated uh, televising the proceedings of the Supreme Court uh, and have introduced legislation to require that, uh, subject to a decision by the court on a particular case if they thought that the court ought not to be televised. I think the analogy is very apt to televising proceedings of the United States Senate or the United States House of Representatives so that the public may be informed as to what is going on on these public matters. The arguments in the Supreme Court are open to the public. Only a very few people have an opportunity to see them. First, it's not easy to come to Washington, and second, there are so many people even who do come to Washington that they are allowed to be there only a very, very few minutes. Uh, but with the marvels of television, uh, uh, this proceeding appears in uh, the homes of uh, many Americans on uh, C-SPAN 2. The House is uh, televised on C-SPAN 1, and uh, many of our hearings are similarly uh, televised. And that is a great educational uh, tool. Uh, and also, it uh, uh, shows uh, what is going on. Uh, the Supreme Court of the United States, uh, in a 1980 decision, Richmond Newspapers versus Virginia, noted that a public trial belongs not just to the accused, but to the public and the press as well. The Supreme Court noted that such openness has, quote, long been recognized as an indispensable attribute of an Anglo-American trial. Chief Justice uh, William Howard Taft uh, put the issue into perspective, stating, quote, nothing tends more to render judges careful in their decisions and anxiously solicitous to do exact justice than the consciousness that every act of theirs is subject to intelligent scrutiny of their fellow men and uh, candid criticism. In the same vein, Justice Felix Frankfurter said, if the news media would cover the Supreme Court as thoroughly as it did the World Series, it would be very important since public confidence in the judiciary hinges on the public's uh, perception of it. The term press as used in Richmond newspapers certainly would comprehend television in modern days and uh, uh, certainly, Justice Frankfurter's use of the term media would comprehend uh, a television as well. It is worth noting that justices have frequently been, uh, have frequently appeared on television. Chief Justice Roberts and Justice Stevens appeared on primetime ABC TV. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's interview on CBS by Mike Wallace uh, was televised. Justice Breyer's participation participated in Fox News Sunday. A debate between Justice Scalia and Justice Breyer was filmed and available for viewing uh, on the web. Now, there is no doubt of the enormous public interest in what uh, uh, television and what the Supreme Court does. When the case of Bush versus Gore was decided, the blocks surrounding the Supreme Court chambers just across the green from the Senate uh, was loaded with uh, uh, television uh, trucks. Uh, although the cameras couldn't get inside, there was tremendous public concern. Uh, and the uh, decisions of the court are on uh, uh, all of the uh, cutting edge issues of the day. Uh, the court decides uh, executive power, congressional power, defendants' rights, habeas corpus, Guantanamo, civil rights, voting rights, affirmative action, abortion, and the list uh, uh, could go uh, on and on. In both the 109th and 110th Congress, uh, I introduced legislation calling for the uh, court to be televised. Uh, twice it was reported favorably out of committee, but neither time reached the floor of the United States Senate. And I intend to 
reintroduce the legislation and intend to, to, pr to pursue it. Uh, a number of justices have commented about uh, uh, television. Uh, Justice uh, Stevens uh, said that he uh, favors uh, televising uh, the Supreme Court. He thinks, as he put it, uh, that it is uh, worth a try. Uh, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg said that she would support television and the cameras as long as it was gavel to gavel. Uh, Justice Alito, in a Senate confirmation hearing, noted that when he was on the Third Circuit, he voted in favor of televising the proceedings, but had a reservation uh, saying that if confirmed, he would want to consult with, uh, with his colleagues about it. Uh, Justice Kennedy has said that uh, he thinks televising the court uh, is inevitable. Uh, Justice, Chief Justice Roberts left the, the question open. There is uh, obvious sensitivity uh, in the court if a colleague strenuously objects, and such a vociferous objection has been lodged by Justice Souter, who is quoted as saying, I can tell you the day you see a camera come into our courtroom, it is going to, <clears throat> it is going to roll over my dead body, close quote. Quite a, quite a dramatic statement. Well, Justice Souter has announced his retirement, and perhaps in the absence of that kind of a strenuous objection, it would be a good time for the court to reconsider uh, the issue. Uh, I intend to uh, ask uh, Judge Sotomayor in her confirmation hearing whether she agrees with Justice Souter, Justice Stevens, that televising the Supreme Court is worth a try whether she agrees with Justice Breyer that televising judicial proceedings are a valuable uh, teaching device, whether she agrees with Justice Kennedy that uh, televising the court is inevitable. And uh, she can shed some light on the issue because uh, uh, her courtroom was part of a pilot program uh, where it was televised. There was a program from 1991 through 1994, uh, where the Judicial Conference evaluated a pilot program conducted in six federal district courts and two federal circuits, and they found, quote, overall attitudes of judges toward elections media coverage of civil procedures were initially neutral and became more favorable after experience under the pilot program. The Judicial Center's conclusions also stated Judges and attorneys who had experience with electronic media coverage under the program generally reported observing small or no effects of the presence of camera presence on participants in the proceedings, courtroom decorum, or the administration of justice. I think uh, those findings are a very solid step forward from some of the justices who have expressed concern that uh, the dynamics of the court uh, would be changed. With the ability to put a camera in a concealed position uh, uh, and the findings of the Judicial Center, uh, that uh, uh, is a solid argument in favor of proceeding. And uh, to repeat, I intend to continue to press the issue and the confirmation proceedings of Judge Sotomayor will be a good opportunity to ask her about her experience when she presided over a trial under the pilot program and to further uh, develop uh, the issue and uh, perhaps to stimulate some more uh, public uh, interest.